Um, if you've looked at recent English films, uh, they're, they're really not introspective in the way that New York auteur films are, sort of starting in the 70s and going through now. You've got working class films and you've got upper class films. They're visual, they're about class, they're a bit surface, they're beautiful to look at. I think what Martha has done here is to have written a, a film about what people are thinking and feeling. And I think that's more of a New York film than, than we've seen before uh, in London. So, of course, it's an English film, and it's about the social strata. But I think it's, 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 it's not uh, intellectual, it's emotional, and it's psychological, and it's thoughtful in the way that New York films and the tradition of New York films, starting with Ilya Kazan through now, um, uh, are known for. So. In the last 20 years in England, we've had, we've had two very strong uh, seams in our cinema. One has been the gritty urban realism of Mike Lee, Ken Loach, telling uh, d deprived, uh, stories of deprived uh, working class heroes. And we've had this heritage cinema that uh, came up through Merchant Ivory, which obviously tackles the other end of the social spectrum. What Martha has done is brought these two worlds together in a film. And what the problem in, in, in British cinema, I think we all feel at home, is we haven't established a persona for our cinema. We haven't established a genre that we can, we can put out there to the world, which is contemporary, exciting, uh, challenging, entertaining cinema, and, um, like, which is why we go to America and bring their films in, which is why we come here to France and bring these films in, because we either have the upper-class cinema or we have the gritty urban realism. And we have, we, have, we have, as you say, it's precisely because of that structure that you're talking about where there's a, there's a wealth of of source material to mine and put into movies like this. And Martha's, I don't know, Martha's the first person to have done it in, I'm not a cineast particularly, but she's, she's the first person that I can remember to have done it so successfully. So. I think it would be a shame if the discussion about the film was totally only related to Englishness and class, because what, what drew me to it was the humanity of it, of all these people. I think you could transpose this you know, with a few adjustments to a number of different societies. I, I think it, what makes any any film script work is, is the, the people in it, the characters, the, to, to be drawn into the lives of, and the hearts and minds of those people. And this, I think, as people seem a bit lost, they feel a bit not integrated with, the, with themselves and between each other. And I think, I w I, when I read the screenplay, I was engaged in who are these human beings? Mm -hmm. And I think it was very much the juxtaposition of stories where an energy, a very interesting energy comes out of juxtaposing them, which again relates to the metropolis because you have so many people in a concentrated, especially the modern metropolis, very concentrated um, sort of geography. And so those lives and how they intertwine and touch each other and what comes out of that was also, um, and I guess this applies to the class thing, you, you, when you look at humanity operating in this strange way, there's a, there's a lot of meat on that bone. For me, I thought the script was really, really clever and well written and I thought she was giving me a great opportunity with this character because it was very different from what I've done in, in English. And, and that was it. And I also, when I met her, I had a great connection with her like after five minutes. And I was also very happy to work with, with all this cast. <laughs>